In today's video, we are going to learn about the drainage system and patterns and how they form and what are their types and various other things. Let's start then. Now, if we can divide the major drainage system, we can divide it into two parts. First is sequent and second is in sequence streams. Now, in sequence stream, as you can see over here, they can be divided into consequent stream, subsequent, resequent, and obsequent. And further in in sequence streams, it can be divided into antecedent and superimposed. Now we are going to learn about them. Now before going into these divisions, what is sequence stream? Basically, sequence streams are those which follows a particular regional slope. So when we talk about these streams, they all follows the regional slope or the original slope that the geological structure have. Now let's talk about consequent streams. Now what is consequent stream? It is basically the master stream which follows the regional slope. So consequent stream have their course in accordance with the initial slope of land surface and when two consequent streams flows parallelly which mostly can be seen in the coastal plain region then it is called parallel drainage streams and the longest consequence stream can be called as master consequence stream now in this picture you can see this is a consequence stream which is following the slope the slope is downward in this way now let's talk about subsequent stream. Well, subsequent streams are those which joins consequent stream in a right angle because subsequent streams originate on the flanks of the anticlines and join the master consequent. That is why it, it, it became right angle. Now, if we want to give an example of subsequent stream, that would be for Ganga River, the Son River would be its subsequent stream. And as well as for Yamuna River, Asan River is one of the tributaries which is subs subsequent stream. Now let's talk about resequent stream. Now resequent streams are those which flow in the same direction as master consequent stream. So what is the difference between resequent stream and consequent stream? Basically, resequent Resequent streams are originated at much later date in comparison to the master consequent streams. Since they are recent origin and hence they are called resequent. And it flows exactly the same direction as the master consequent stream. Sorry. Now let's talk about obsequent stream. Streams flowing in the opposite direction of the master consequence are called obsequent stream. This one is obsequent stream as you can see in the picture. Now as an example we can say Koshi the river runs west to west as an obsequent stream because these are opposite to the direction of the master consequent streams like Ganga or Yamuna. Now let's talk about in sequence stream. As I have said earlier sequence stream follows a regional slope but when it comes to in sequence stream it does not follow the regional slope it is the exact opposite of sequence stream antecedent and superimposed streams are the best representative example of in sequence drainage system now let's talk about antecedent stream antecedent streams are those which are originated prior to the upliftment of the land surface like if a river has developed in a particular region and if the subsequent upliftment of the land area across the pre-existing river does not divert and uh, the course of the river and the river maintain its previous course through down cutting its valley at the rate equivalent to the rate of upliftment of the land area. So there has to be the equal rate of upliftment and down cutting as the same way. Then that river is called antecedent or anticonsequent. As an example of antecedent stream, we can say Ganga, 
ghagra kali gandak have various antecedent strains in it now let's talk about superimposed strain a superimposed drainage is formed when the nature and characteristics of the valley and flow direction of a consequent stream develop on the upper geological formation and structure are superimposed on the lower geological formation of entirely different characteristics so superimposed drainage system is that which has a river course and a particular geological structure on its previous course then sudden upliftment happen but the river follows the same course in spite of being a different geological or lithological structure underneath it it follows the same river course and it follows the same nature or characteristics of the river that is what is superimposed stream like you can see as an example this used to be this upliftment happened and this river down cutted this region and this is an image of delaware water gap now let's talk about the various patterns of drainage trellis drainage patterns are formed by the network of tributaries and master consequent streams which follow the regional slope and are well adjusted to the geological structure such patterns are developed in the area of simple folds characteristics by parallel anticlinal ridges altered by parallel syncline valleys if these are closely spaced then the rectangular pattern forms now what is dendritic pattern dendritic as you can see over here it is a tree shape drainage pattern and it is the most common and widespread pattern the dendritic pattern is associated with the areas of homogeneous lithologies horizontal or very gentle dipping strata as an example of dendritic pattern river we can say kaveri damodar etc now let's talk about radial drainage pattern now radial drainage pattern also known as centrifugal pattern pattern because it is characteristics by the streams which converge at a point which is generally a depression or a basin side now let's talk about annular drainage pattern annular pattern is also known as circular pattern it is formed when the tributaries of the master consequent streams are developed in the form of a circle so as you can see in the picture these were formed on the various hard and soft rock beds that is why the erosional down cutting is different and that is how annular drainage pattern forms over here now let's talk about herringbone pattern well herringbone pattern also known as rib pattern as you can see in the picture it looks like the rib bones of human being well it developed in the mountain areas where broad valleys are flanked by parallel ridges having steep hill slope hill side slope let's move on to the next one parallel drainage pattern parallel drainage pattern comprises numerous rivers which are parallel to each other and follow the regional slope other than this drainage system there are also several drainage patterns that can be found which is burbed drainage pattern which is also known as hooked shape drainage pattern or the pin net drainage pattern and various others and if you find this video informative and if you like this video please like and subscribe thank you